Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video, we're watching Big Ramy from his first Mr. Olympia 2013 up until today. How much did he actually progress? And we're watching the HD photos. So let's see how much did he progress. And this was 2013, so as you can see, he was pretty full. His shape was good, and he showed a lot of promise. When you look at this physique, you say, this is future Mr. Olympia. He just needs to maybe bring up his back a little bit and come a little bit sharper and that's it. This was one of the most massive bodybuilders that ever stepped on Mr. Olympia stage and without a bubble gut. Every single pose was on point, he was perfect pretty much, aside from conditioning and maybe bringing up a few body parts, but that was it, he looked great. Mainly he needed to work on his back, conditioning and creating his physique a little bit more balanced. He looked like a future Mr. Olympia, who would say that he wouldn't become one. And then 2014 came, so he brought a better package and placed higher. 2013 he placed 8th, jumping up 2 places in 2014, coming up 6th. In 2013 he was 2 places behind Jay Cutler, so that was pretty funny. But in 2014 he came much better, so you can see here, he was way more conditioned. But still it wasn't enough to be the top 3 or even to win it. You can see that he brought better conditioning, his glutes are showing much better here. He looked a bit more grainy, more matured, which he was, you know, in one year he gained some maturity. He gained a lot more muscle in his back. So it was still pretty obvious that eventually he's gonna become unbeatable. That was pretty realistic at that point, because he was bigger than everybody, he was complete, he had glutes, he has legs, he had back, he has arms, chest, tiny waist, look at his sweet taper, humongous back. Everybody was pretty much imagining how he will look in 2015. Not much more conditioned, but it was a better package over a little bit. Still, he made the jump, he placed fourth this year, which was amazing accomplishment, but it wasn't what we expected him to do. We expected him to, to win it by this time, probably. I mean, when he came up first time, everybody was, you know, mind blown. And here you can see that he probably didn't improve much from 2014 or 2013. So this time, I guess the lighting was worse, but maybe he was a little bit more conditioned, but not too much. And was he developed a bit more? I wouldn't say so. I think he looked pretty much the same. Maybe his glutes were a bit more shredded, but it's not like a huge difference, although his placing was improved. But I think that was because of the competitors, the other ones who weren't at their best. And then there was a year of medium Remy. So this year, 2016, this wasn't big Remy, this was medium Remy. He wasn't small by any means, but he wasn't big. He was pretty much medium, as Louis Marco said in his videos back then. Although he did bring conditioning. You can see his glutes, you can see his back, lower back, everything was dialed in. So he was definitely way, way more conditioned than any year before or after. And uh, also he was improved in terms of placings. He placed forward compared to the fifth place from the last year, so definitely a huge jump once again, one spot at the Mr. Olympia is a lot. And then we had 2017, which was arguably his best ever, as far as placings, he definitely did the best, he was second after Phil Heath, almost beat him, some people thought that he should have because of his stomach that was flatter than Phil's, but the development wasn't quite there, especially his back. Although, all things considered, I think this was his best ever, and he was very close, actually, to dethroning Phil Heath. Not just winning the Mr. Olympia, it would be easy to win it today in 2019, but back then, when Phil was at his prime, it was really hard to do that, and he almost did it. I would say that this was his best combination of definition, and look at his glutes here, look at his glutes. So, the best combination of conditioning and fullness that he ever brought to the table. So this was 2017 and everybody expected him to bring something improved, something better in 2018, which he did not do. In 2018 he was 6th place again, just like in 2014, so he was, he failed miserably, but the thing is, in my personal opinion, he wasn't that much worse than the year before. I think he looked great, I think maybe this was 
well, not better than 2017, but pretty close. I mean, one of his best. The thing was, all the other guys were hmm, in much better shape. I mean, Sean Roden was super detailed and defined. Bonek came up with his game. Everybody else, you know, Roly. So that was probably the reason. You know, Big Ramy has the best structure, probably the best potential to become the Mr. Olympia but the conditioning is the problem we'll see and here is 2014 edition of new york pro big grammy which i wanted to to show you guys because this is one of my favorite editions and he was very very full but he was young he looked so fresh and the lighting was also very good at this show so you can see here that he looked great i mean this wasn't like his best conditioning ever but the fullness that he had and the pop to his physique was really impressive so i really like this edition I just wanted to make an honorable mention of this version of Big Ramy because I find this very, very impressive and very aesthetically pleasing as well. But I also wanted to ask you guys, what do you think, how will he do in 2020? Because I'm sure you know he announced competing in the 2020 Arnold Classic. So that's going to be interesting to see him over there. Hopefully it will be an improved version of Big Ramy. Hopefully he will be conditioned at this point. We all want to see him conditioned, shredded. And uh, I really hope we'll see that. And then later see him at the Mr. Olympia stage against the other guys. And if Phil he doesn't come back, if he needs to dethrone Brandon Curry, it's going to be rather easy for him. He just needs to bring the conditioning. So I'm sure when he knows that he can actually win the Mr. Olympia I'm sure he will do it. I mean, come on, it would be stupid if he doesn't. So, what do you guys think? Can he win the next Mr. Olympia, of course, if Phil doesn't come back? Or what if he actually does? How will he look against uh, Flex Lewis, for example, and the other guys? Can he even beat Bonek at this point? I mean, can he get that conditioned? It's definitely going to be interesting to see him against Harry Chopin. That's going to be a good one. Anyways, guys, whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more bodybuilding videos like this. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.